Hey guys, hope you're having an amazing Memorial Day weekend. Hey, May the 28th, 1978, I met Robin for the first time. It'll be 40 years Monday. May the 28th, 1979, I opened my first business, Aaron's Jewelry and Loan in Inglewood, Tennessee, just outside of Nashville. So needless to say, Memorial Day weekend is special to me, and I hope it's special to you as well. Hope you have a great weekend. Don't forget the groups that normally meet on Monday will be meeting on Thursday at the same time. Guys, I want to talk to you a little bit uh, about something that's a little bit different this week. And I don't know why I've got this on my mind, but I'm like, hey, I pay attention when things come to my mind that are maybe a little bit differently. I want to talk about the book and all that kind of stuff. Profit first, you know the questions, you know the drill, come prepared, do the accountability tool. But I want to talk to you about who has your child's ear. I wrote a blog post years ago and I was reviewing some blog posts and I started thinking about that. And I thought, Dad, you're the most important person in your child's development, uh, whether it be a girl or a boy. Those kids are looking to their dad. And I thought about a time when we took the family to Destin, Florida. Brooke was about 11 or 12 years old. And I said, hey, let's go take a walk down the beach. So we went walking down the beach and I was nervous. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. I was because I knew what I was going to talk to her about because Brooke is a beautiful girl and Holly is as well. And I knew the guys were looking at them and they were going to start being interested in guys at some point. I wanted to poke them all in the eye. I was like, oh my gosh, this is my little girl. I mean, quit looking at my little girl. But I knew at some point they were going to start dating. And I needed to have that talk with them. They had already had the sex talk. They already knew all about that. But I wanted to talk to them about boys and the things that they were interested in and how they were going to treat her. And I started walking down the beach and I started telling them a little bit. <laughs> I'm like, I can't tell them completely all the truth. And the more I walked, the more convicted I was. And I said, what man is going to tell their daughter the truth more than me? And so I just laid it out there. I said, here's what guys think about. Here's what they do. Here's what they're going to say. Not all of them are bad. There's some great young men out there, but I want you to pay attention. And I suggested to Brooke at that time to read a book called Every Man's Battle. And she did. She read that book. And as Holly got a little bit older, she read the book as well. I want to encourage you guys to let your daughters, age appropriate, read that book. It lets them inside of a guy's mind and helps them understand some of the craziness that's going on. Well, one of my girls went home after she became become a teenager and read that book and she threw her clothes away. She said, I don't want to cause men to think that way. If that's the way men think and that's the things that they're dealing with, I don't want them to cause them to stumble and to fall and to look lustfully like this book talks about. My point in the story today is, is you got to be blatantly honest with your children. Don't dodge those conversations. I want you to have those difficult talks with your daughter and with your sons and let them really know the reality of life and what's going on because nobody loves your kids like you do. And you don't want them learning things like this from the world. You wanting them to learn from you. So I know dads, I'm talking to you specifically now, and I know it's tough to have those conversations, but I want to encourage you today. If your kids are at that age, or if you have grandkids that are at that age and you've built that relationship and you can talk to them that way, we have to protect our family. We have to rally the troops and get around them and help them understand the truth and know exactly what the world's going to hand them as time goes on. Man, I love my girls more than life itself. And I know you love your children the same way. We've got to step up to the plate and tell them the truth. Well, guys, back to the book. You know Profit First. Read those chapters. We're finishing up the book. Answer the questions. Uh, do the accountability tool. Let's have 100% participation this week. And in the meantime, turn this video off. Go out there and turn the grill on. Put some hamburgers on and enjoy your Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day, guys. We'll see you.